Hi, my name is Chris. This is the Camille Corp, and today we're discussing the Strange New Worlds variant of Star Trek's Monster Maroon version, and this cosplay is done by Cozumart. Don't go away, we're going to try everything on and talk it through right after this. Okay, so uh, I have the turtleneck, the undershirt on. It does have the rib neck and the rib sleeves. Uh, one thing I am noticing is that the ribbing is further apart on this one than it is on Pike's over here. So um, this is kind of nice because it's a versatile piece. You can use it with this version of the cosplay. Uh, you can also use it if you have a Monster Maroon from Star Trek 2 through 6, you can do that. Uh, I do just have a pair of black joggers on that I use for my Strange New Worlds cosplay, the, the gold uniform. Um, Coaster Mart did just release the pant with the red stripe on it, however, I have not pulled the trigger on that yet. Uh, the turtleneck does zip up in the back, and I need some assistance to get it all the way zipped up but uh, this is a solid piece and I think it was 25 bucks which I think is a really good price this is really well made very versatile so I'm gonna put the mic down and I'm gonna grab the jacket Okay, so um, with this jacket so far, noticing a couple of things. The first uh, is that we do have the Discovery Strange New Worlds trend of putting the Delta pattern on the sleeves. I don't hate it. Uh, I, th I think I, I've seen mixed reviews online, but I don't think this looks bad. I like how the cut of the sleeves look. I'm going to get rid of our intrepid admiral here so I can pop into the center. Um, so the other thing I'm noticing, you know, in Star Trek, in the movies where Kirk would open up the front of the monster maroon and there was the white underneath the flap. That's not on this, uh, which is disappointing to me. So, but we do have this, which snaps up in here to hold everything together. And then we have a zipper down here. So the whole thing zips up. Uh, the actual movie props from the uniforms from the movies. Uh, this was a combination of snaps that went all the way up. So, um, hold on a second. I got to move this again. And then there are two snaps here and here to help keep things in place over here. This is really annoying with the lapel mic, but. Uh, here, I wonder. I'll just pop you right there. Okay, and then this does clip down like that. Now, I want to I want to show you something uh, because this is probably my pet peeve right here. So, do you see the belt loops here and here? This is my rib cage. Um, my pants end down here. Also, this is a little unforgiving. If I were to put the belt on where the belt loops are, I'll let it down a little bit. 
that would look absolutely ridiculous. That belt should come about right there. Um, this is actually, it wouldn't be a, a difficult fix at all. A seam ripper will pull these guys out. There's also one, I don't know if you can see, on the back that would need to come down as well. A tailor could do that, or if you're feeling brave, adventurous, or have some skill with a sewing machine, it shouldn't be that hard to fix. Okay, uh, impressions, having everything on. Uh, I usually wear a medium in Coaster Mart, and that's what I ordered both for the undershirt and the jacket. Uh, currently, I'm, I'm about 190 pounds. I'm six feet tall. I think if I lost five pounds, this would fit a little bit better. But overall, I'm happy with the fit. The sleeve length is great. The neck opening is just about perfect. The sleeve here, sorry, this one, uh, we do have the braid or the, the stripe here for commendations and service years and things like that. Uh, these pins I got from sellgeek.com. Uh, highly recommend them for all of your sci-fi sci accoutrement needs. Uh, the pins, the captain's break rank here and here, did come from Anavos. I got these years ago before they folded, before I knew better than to buy anything from Anavos. And lastly, the belt came from eBay. Uh, I'm planning on putting links to everything in the description. So, how do I rate this? On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give it an 8. And the reason I'm going to give it an 8 is because the belt loops are an inconvenience. In Coaster Mart's defense, and this is very important, so pay attention, they have indicated that they recognize the mistake, and going forward, any, one, any of these that they do make will have the belt loops lowered. So that is something, if you're thinking about doing this, that is something that is going to be done. That is one of the prices that you pay for being an early adopter on some of these things, is they're still trying to figure it out. Uh, if we bring back Pike real quick. So I'm noticing a couple of things. So here, uh, it's in, in this version, it's kind of like it slopes in the movie Monster Maroon, right? You know, everything came clean across to about here and then down. Uh, and then if you look over here on Pike, uh, there, there seems to be even more of an angle. You know, that the, the white strap almost looks too long and too stretched. And I'm not sure if that's just, it, it kind of dropped or slid a little bit after he got it on, or that's how they made it, I'm not sure. But the only other probably thing I'm going to ding this on is, you know, it's a fairly bright color of red. I think it should be more maroon and less red for $45. I guess you can't really be too picky. But yeah, this is the Monster Maroon from Coaster Mart. It is the Strange New Worlds variant. The turtleneck was 25 the jacket was 43 and I believe the pants that they put up are $34. Uh, however, if you find a pair of track pants or joggers that have a red stripe down the middle or down the side, you are probably just fine. That, that's, that's about it. So if you have any questions about the uniform, feel free to hit the comment section below. I do try to get new content up every week, so please hit that like button. That thumbs up button does help me uh, and helps my videos get out to more people. I invite you to subscribe and hit that bell notification so that when I do post new stuff, you get notified. And I'm going to take just 10 seconds to plug our Patreon page, which is linked below as well. Not only do you get access to videos early, you also get access to a Discord channel as well as some tangible gifts in the mail. So that might be something to check out as well. We appreciate your support. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time, and until then, Keep creating.